He says, don't bother. <clears throat> okay, here we go. I can't believe this massage therapist stopped using doTERRA essential oils. Oh, hey, how's it going? I was just reading a YouTube comment that I got, but uh, uh, let's read it off, see what they had to say, and uh, provide a reasonable response. That's right, that's what we try to do up in here. All right, so he said, I have stopped buying from doTERRA. Mm. First of all, that's a big mistake. The kid's line bothers me. What did the kids line ever do to you? I mean, he said, I dislike the carabiners, SP question mark. So that kids can attach them to their backpacks and use them on their own. <clears throat> just, I just hate it when people feel empowered about taking their health into their hands, too. I'm outraged, if you can see it. Let's continue, though. We're going to continue, because this, I'm feeling the outrage. He said, I dislike that I can't find out how deluded they are on the website. I have and one of my best friends has we both hyper react to knowing how deluded a roller bottle is is important. Okay, alright, I understand that. He says, I dislike the vitamins have way all caps, way more than the recommended daily amounts for some vitamins. Actually, they have what the standard American diet is missing and try to provide that for a normal adult. But let's just, you know, we'll continue to read what he says here. For most vitamins, he says, this means expensive urine. Okay, yeah, there's a little bit of peeing out. All right, I get you, especially the mega vitamins, who, which carry. But the Terra has, again, for the normal adult, the right amount based on the standard American diet and what's missing in the, in the standard American diet. Okay, okay, we're gonna continue. He says vitamins A, D, E, and K are fat soluble and can build up to toxic levels in your body. I believe that vitamins C, D, E, and thiamine are well over the suggested amount. All right, so that's opinion. So we'd have to go and look at the gender of the individual, the height, the weight, and see what is provided from a percentage standpoint and recommended amount, the RDA, recommended daily amount, to actually come to an accurate conclusion. We ain't gonna do that in this video, but I'm just saying that's the kind of thought process we gotta have because we can't just say, oh, those numbers are too high because I said so. No. Anyways, we're gonna continue. He says, when you go to doTERRA's website, you continuously see the direction to dilute with the carrier oil. But where does it say how much to dilute it? I mean, I mean, if you watch my YouTube videos on it, you, that's one resource, and that's why there's wellness advocates. And if you find a good one, they'll you know go over that stuff with you, or at least provide you resources. But <laughs> let's uh, let's separate topic. So let's let's continue. He says two to two point five percent is recommended if used in oil regularly. I believe that 2% is 6 drops in a 10 mil roller bottle. You know, they do have information in numerous books. The, you know, Modern Essentials book. There's lots of resources available on doTERRA's blog. I mean, the, the individual who enrolled you, if they're using the Natural Solutions handouts and the Live Guide and the, you know, all that stuff, then that information will at least either be in there or they'll give you resources to find that. Lots of resources, but I get it. Not everybody has those, so again, I understand. All right, this person says when they recommend one drop each of peppermint, wild orange, and frankincense in the palm of your hand, are they suggesting that you add five mil of carrier oil? I don't see that. I also don't like that it's well above the precautions. It reads like you could stop hit stop there and never scroll down farther to read that you should dilute. Okay, so the purpose of dilution is so that the essential oils absorb better into your skin when you're applying topically. It's so it reduces the chance of irritation, and so it's you can cover larger surface areas. So instead of this little spot right here, which I do apply after my showers, I can apply all up down there. Okay, so that's why you dilute. All right. Just got awkward. This person goes on to say between, ooh, getting a little hot and bothered right now. All right, he says between 2011 and 2015, 
the Tennessee Poison Center reported a doubling of dangerous essential oil exposures in children. What was the brand? What was the plant type? What was the quantity? Let's give some more information here instead of just, you know, you know, that's kind of like a little comment bomb when you just like, see, explosion. You know, it's just like, more information, please. All right. He says, then he says, this is kind of weird. I love oils. <laughs> he says, I started using a few of them in 1994. Dang, that's right around when Young Living got they started. Mm -hmm. okay, you can watch my videos on that. <laughs> he says, my love has increased. Wow. Based on your comment, I wouldn't say that, but... <clears throat> <laughs> then goes on to say, I am a former massage therapist, and I have taken classes from certified aromatherapists in a physical classroom located in a massage school. I have also taken a few herbal classes from an ND who was the head of oncology at a local hospital. Okay, so getting some training, some personal development, and that's great to see. Just make sure, you know, if you're an aromatherapist, I still love you, or if you got some training from an aromatherapist, or if you believe in aromatherapists, specifically the certification, I think it's important to understand a lot. I did some videos on that, especially as it relates to the internal use of essential oils. So we're not going to get into that, but I think they are focused on, you know, you can't use them internally unless I tell you to because I got this certificate that allows me to tell you that. And I also can make money from having a certificate, so you need to come to me so I can make some money, you know what I'm saying? But that's kind of what it's... I ain't hating on them. I'm just, I'm just saying. I love everyone, but... Let's try to look at things from a lot of different angles. And there are exceptions to every rule. And there are a lot of different types of companies and brands and qualities and stuff like that. That's all I'm trying to say. All right. He further goes on to say, Even when I bought from doTERRA and paid for my discount, I didn't feel like they offered enough safety information. That would be in the Modern Essentials book. That would also be in the Live Guide and from your enroller based on their experiences themselves or their mentor's experience or the experiences of their clients. So that's why you have to find somebody you know, like, and trust and provides excellent customer service. That's four things. Sounds like this person didn't do that. Or if they did, they didn't... Something fell through the cracks. That's what it seems like. So when that happens, then they leave comments on my YouTube channel or I get emails or things like this, and I'm like, Ugh. I mean, this is where having good choosing skills, discernment comes into play, you know, being able to know what the resources are, to look those up, you know. But anyways, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to include all the resources that I mentioned in this video with links in the description below so you can check that out. So for the people who, you know, maybe feeling this way or feeling some type of way or maybe in their feelings, caught in their feelings, you can feel more comfortable knowing that the resources are literally one click away in the description below. All right, there we go. Now, if you don't watch it up to this point, then you're screwed. <laughs> he then says, uh, I know you generally discuss bias when you reply. Yes, cognitive bias, because everyone has it, but not everyone is aware that they have it. If you don't believe me, you can Google it. Google cognitive bias. Here we go. He says, don't bother. <clears throat> okay, here we go. He says, please, simply think about the safety concerns as you sell. I like to say, as I serve, but it's cool. He says, sorry, you are selling. Well, so, like, you almost heard me. <laughs> you are not serving. All right, Donald Downer, I'll take, uh... <clears throat> and then he says, yes, I am biased. Okay. Thank you for your honesty. He says, yes, I know this. Okay, all right. The kid's line was the last straw for me. Mm. I know, having empowered kids with those carabiners. Whew, that, you know, mm. Anyways, he says, pack it in your kid's backpack to be, to be applied throughout the day, question mark, question mark. Uh, yeah? Who is liable if your child shares it with the child with Um, well if you use it properly then you shouldn't have any problems, but 
sometimes people have sensitivities so it's important to understand what those are but so it's okay I think you're getting a little work you might need some essential oils for that you know he finally finishes up and closes with the whole concept of this is terrifying let's not forget that we don't know how much essential oil is in the bottle I'm getting worked up too <clears throat> okay here's what I followed up with I said Thank you for sharing your experiences with doTERRA and caring enough to leave such a detailed comment because to write that much, you clearly cared about something, all right? Especially the, the, the kids' line, carabiners, and the dilution amount. Whew. All right. I said, uh, I mentioned cognitive bias because people are almost always unaware of their own when using the word bias. That's, that's true. I mean, good night. <laughs> As for safety information that is provided in the Modern Essentials book, link below and the Natural Solutions Handout, making statements without doing your research, slash finding a good mentor on top of telling me how not to respond seems unreasonable. All right, we just going in, right? They dished it out, so I'm you know, giving it back. Nicely, I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to play nice with others. And so I gave the Modern Essentials book link, uh, which will also be in the description for you below. And then I said, ingredient percentages are proprietary just like other industries. Think about Coca-Cola and what their ingredient list is and their secret formula, you know what I'm saying? Um, but you know what's in them, right? So you know the ingredients, but the percentage of those ingredients is proprietary, if that makes sense. Okay, here we go. You also know, you know, with doTERRA, the sourcing, testing results, the benefits, and how to use them if you leverage the resources given to you or that you seek out and that covers virtually every person's needs with the oils. So there's tons of other information out there that you don't need to know the percentage of an ingredient. You just need to know what ingredient is in there, and if you aren't comfortable with that, then you can dilute it further, okay? So you can add your own roller bottle, make some more fraction of coconut oil in there from doTERRA and put it in there. If you're really, really that unsure, I don't think that's necessary, but that is a second solution instead of just... But again, if you didn't leave the comment, I wouldn't have a video today, so thank you for providing my content. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to continue here. And then I said, asking for more to satisfy curiosity is understandable as it relates to the ingredient percentages but I also said it's unreasonable a, a bit unreasonable especially when he you know reiterates and reiterates like I need to know the percentages <laughs> you know just like oh my goodness there's an oil for that <laughs> all right I followed up and said lastly not sure what your main point is since your comment seems more like a rant slash event on doTERRA products dilution slash safety info instead of trying to have a reasonable discussion through the truth and seeking understanding and that's what I ended with. Alright, so what are the lessons learned you may be asking? Well, sometimes people have a lot to get off the chest, you know, give a piece of their mind get that digital courage, whatever it is, you know, I think they just, they just, they just wanted to let me know and I appreciate that but at the same time we gotta look at what you're saying and you know be like look chill okay but here's the thing there are better uses of your time than ranting on a YouTube comment section but hey you know I ain't mad at you okay I still got love for you because if you don't provide the content I don't have a video and you may be saying Lance why are you covering topics like this though couldn't you be covering the benefits and uses of a product and being more positive? I mean, you used to be. It's because I like to cover real topics. This person doesn't buy doTERRA anymore. Wouldn't you like to know why? Wouldn't you like to have a reasonable response just in case you're presented with the situation? If you're an anti-MLM or anti-essential oil or anti-internal use person, then maybe you don't give, you know, a rat's hoo-ha. But for the people that actually use the oils or are doing the business part-time or full-time, sometimes it's nice to know what people are going through and see if you actually share those beliefs. And if you don't, you can be like, mm, that person needs some oils, you know, and they might have stop using them but maybe they should continue with them or you may be like yeah m me too mm. so you know give them something people to relate to or for people to be like mm, I thought that was crazy but you know <clears throat> that concludes today's video thank you so much for watching hit the like button if you did hit subscribe for future video updates and most importantly check out those links in the description below so you can, can continue to get your learn on and I'll see you in the next video okay